I think they see me coming as soon as I switch on the camera. <laughs> Mow your lawn. Okay, we're just on the way back from Midhurst doing some filming and we've come across this delightful church. We don't know what village we're in, we don't even know what it's called, but that's what it's is all about, isn't it? Yes. And it's just charming as you come around the road, you see it up on the, on the hill. So uh, we're going to have a quick look. We'll find out a little bit more about it. Come with us. It's a rather lovely church up on a hill. Very well. Very nice. Yeah, gotta say it's a door, you know me indoors. I love me do I love me doors. Once again. Height restriction. 1800s, yeah. Yeah, 1800s at the moment. Okay, we found the porch and entrance. St Peter in Chains, Whisper Green. We're in Whisper Green. Whisper Green. Whisper Green. I mean, look at this, that looks really old, is it? Or is it just a bit of artwork? I would say it's a really old pier. Yeah. It's wood, look. A lot of movement out of old ships. Yeah, I don't quite know how old Should this is. Google? I don't have to Google guys, sorry. I know it looks bad, but we gotta Google and find out how old this St. Peter's church is in Woodsboro Green. There are probably people in Woodsboro Green have seen this going, do your research, but we literally stopped on the cuff, on the cuff, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Off the cuff, I mean. I'm having a day where I can't speak properly. Not sure if it's, um, it's eighteen sixty-seven. A 14th century wall painting, mm. and we can't get in to see it. The tower end is early 12th century. So it look quite old. Built up in 13th, 14th, 15th century. And then you've got modern stuff on well. Right, it's a real mismatch. So yeah, so the nave and all that, and the tower end is is 12th century. Yeah, it seems about right. 12th century. Along with 1867 plumbing. <laughs> okay. Nice little uh, churchyard. Yew tree. Got over yew tree. And the sun's coming out at last. It's been overcast all day while we've been out filming. And now the lovely sun's coming out. It's getting warm. Lovely. Once again, someone's mowing their lawn. I think they see me coming as soon as I switch on the camera. <laughs> Mow your lawn. So we're in the back. Yeah, so they're saying this wall, this, this part of its 12th century, obviously not the brick right there, but the tower and everything. Lovely stonework. There's a chapel around the back, which is supposed to be 13th century, so we'll have a quick look, see if we can have a look. Oh, look at that stonework, that's amazing. That's 13th. 13th century. A quick look around the back, there's people over there, hello. Um, don't know how often this is used, a lot of cobwebs around it. Yes. What's fascinating is that we're looking at greystones, as Al just said. Some of them are so faded, they're not looked after. There's, I don't know what the reasoning is behind that. So all the original uh, lettering and wording, yeah. you can't see anymore. And there would be some real history on those, on those, some of these uh, stones. There's some real information in yeah. there on, it, on them. 
so yeah it's um it's just such a shame also it's a little bit i don't know if i'm right or wrong a little bit disrespectful to the people who are buried there i know they're not probably not forgotten but uh, yeah but but with all the lichen now on the stones that covers a lot of it as well but who would know who's there I yeah, don't the, know where my ancestors are buried. No, like that, I'm so, sorry. I maybe, yeah, maybe. You know, maybe it was a silly thing to say. Really. So people, that's. I think people are buried, and then they've forgotten where they are. Yeah. But they're not. They're still in your mind. Yeah. But I think a lot of parishes do still have a, a, a grave, a grave churchyard plot. You yeah. know a lot of the who who are buried where they are buried. I suspect there are some people that come up to these graves mm. and see things, but it's only people that are really close yeah. isn't it it's, and once they've died that's it who comes to churchyards yeah unless you only us yeah, when we're looking at the church, yeah. <laughs> church building you know who, who comes to a churchyard now yeah. again it's it's just one of those things that fades out isn't yeah more it? and more people are being cremated though yeah. actually burying is actually environmentally better <laughs> but it's space yeah. isn't it you spend your day at a churchyard do you or no say we do <laughs> no but yeah but someone's family doesn't probably comes on their anniversary yeah. of death yeah. or something like that but you don't come to a churchyard do you no not like ricky gervais that sits there and watches it yeah with uh, <laughs> penelope walton yeah afterlife yeah <laughs> right so just a quick uh trip to some different peters in Woodsboro green with the green very nice i'm um, sorry we haven't got much more information about it but it's a lovely church um but thanks for coming with us and indulging our rather unplanned trip hence our ignorance of the place sorry it's an air force grave in 1945 oh okay he saw it because he's very into the 1940s uh history hmm. so yeah thanks for this video if you if you like it please subscribe please leave a comment especially if you know a little bit more about the uh, the church and we'll see you next time. Take care. Draw.